Hello guys, in this video we're going to be talking about the two new artifacts that will be coming up in the 4.0 update tomorrow, or perhaps next tomorrow. Heyo, welcome to Teoriki, and this is me, Teoriki. <laughs> the two new artifacts that will be updated in 4.0 uh, tomorrow or the next day, yes it is, it will be Mark. Kushishe Hunter or Golden Troop. Yes, Mark Kushishe Hunter. I'm sorry I, that I can spell it, but yeah, you can you can spell it on your own lah. And Golden Troop. So Mark Kushishe Hunter, the two piece set effect is to increase the normal and charge attack damage by 15%. So not just increasing the attack percent, but it increases the final damage by 15%. It is a wonderful artifact already, but. For the four piece set, it will increase your crit rate by the maximum time by maximum of three times, uh, by twelve percent for five seconds each for each stack. But yeah, uh, you need to activate it by increasing or decreasing your HP. And for golden troop, it will increase your elemental skill damage by twenty percent for two piece set, which is it's already a very good effect that. You can combine it with other artifacts already, but if you're using four piece set, you'll be increasing for another additional twenty five percent damage, and another twenty five percent if your character is not on field. So in total, you'll get seventy percent. I'm gonna be sharing about the Marcuse Hunter first, right? The best character that you can use for this Marcuse. Masquise Hunter would be the character that I don't have. Yes, it's Xiao. Also, if you want to use Hutao, I'll explain it on that. So, basically, Xiao, his HP will be decreasing by every second, right? Because his talent here, Bane of All Evil, in this state, Xiao will continuously lose HP. Life drain 3% current HP per second. So, for every second you get a stack, it will increase your crit rate by 12.12%. This means that you can build your show purely on your crit damage and your attack percent. You don't need to care about any other stats such uh, Specific, uh, specifically for crit rate, you don't need to. But you don't need to care about crit rate at all in your substats. Why? Because it already get covered by the artifacts effect. So yeah, cause twelve percent times by three is gonna be around thirty six percent, and it is a big, it is such a big amount already. For other characters, you can use uh, for Hutao also, but uh, the thing is, Hutao will only decrease his HP for the first time. So every time she's using her skill, yes, she will decrease her HP, but it all it will be only happening once at a time, and you need to wait for another uh, sixteen seconds because after the cooldown is finished, you can use her skill again, but it won't be too useful for her, and you can use the artifact for any other, any character that you want to that you usually use for uh, by rushing in the enemies, such as a high time if you're not using any shield. A high thumb, cause my team composition is uh, Sinchu, a high thumb, uh, Cookie, and uh, we should uh, I use I use another Dendro, Nahida, or uh, Baiju. And Sino, if you want to use him by, if you're using him by rushing into the enemies, cause obviously if he's not using any shield, he'll get damage, right? And uh, the most important thing is if you're using Sino, you will get a knockout resistance. So basically, you can just hit the enemies without worrying about uh, getting knocked back. But the downside is, yeah, well, yeah, your your HP will be will get decreased a lot. I need to I need to consider about your health also, right? Don't don't get that. So basically, those are the three characters that you can use uh, the Merkause Hunter for, which is Xiao, Ahaitam, or Sino. All right. For the second artifact, which is called Golden Troop, Fischl can use her so well. Why? Because her skill is designed to be on field while the character is not. 
So you just you just need the OS basically, you don't need the free shell. For Golden Troop, the best character in mine, as mentioned, is Facial. It is the best character in mine, right? Why? Because Facial, every time she's using her skill, she will summon her OS, which already dealt a great amount of damage. And not only that, her OS will keep on attacking uh, the enemies, even if the Facial is not around. And it also deals a great amount of damage. You can also use it for Yaimiko. Yaimiko is also one of the character that is greatly boosted by uh, by the artifact, by the Golden Troop. When you summon three uh, level four, level three lah at least level three and level four sets of Akura, you can already deal a great amount of damage. You're using her burst, it will reset the cooldown of the Sesso Sakura, her skill. So what can I say? It's very good for Yaimiko also, right? And next one, Albedo. Why? Because Albedo's main damage is on his skill. Yeah, you can just mainly focus on his skill. For another character, not only Albedo, but you can also be, be using Golden Troop for character like Nahida. Yes, Nahida. She is the one that can be boosted by Golden Troop. Why? Because her reaction damage will get boosted also. Not only by, uh, cause every time you're using Nahida, you not fighting her on the field, right? I think I rarely see people using Nahida on field. Uh, even for me personally, I'm using Nahida off field. Except, <laughs> except for if I'm playing uh, in the low steam. Yeah, Nahida might be on field for a while, but yeah, not really lah. And possibly, possibly, you can also boost Dehia with the golden troop me personally why i did not uh, pull for the here and of course i'll just uh, rely on the standard banner because her ultimate is i'm sorry suck <laughs> all right he, she's she's not bad but she's just okay okay she's just okay not something that i'm for me who's not a will well i'm i'm not wasting my primo gems on her because her her burst is not that good and her skill is just is still mediocre lah. but if you're uh, seeking someone who can deal pyro damage when they're off field well the here is someone who you can rely on for now uh virgin is still not that meta so yeah that's i th don't think that's what that's a good reason why you should pull for her but i'm not telling you to pull for her or not lah but uh, basically she can also be boosted by the uh, artifact because her skill will uh, kind of similar like albedo she can deal pyro damage instead of uh, geo damage uh, every time you deal damage inside her area after you've known that these two artifacts is so op especially for xiao and Fischl, i really want to encourage you guys to put all of your resin into condensed resin I've maxed it out by 5. Why? Because, yes, this is what I'll be doing my first, uh, the first time Fontaine release, right? I'll be farming for the artifacts. Why? Because, if you know, because for the next update, you can do the Mystic Offering for another 8 additional artifacts, which is uh, the best one for certain characters. For example, if Ocho you're looking for, for uh, if you're using, uh, if you're looking for healers artifact, obviously it's gonna be Ocean Heat so Clamp. I use it for my Kiki sense. and my Kokomi. I can just look at, uh, I can just find uh, a better artifact here for uh, in Ocean Heat Clamp. You can also find in Tenacity of the Middle for HP increase, of course, for physical damage like Eula. You can use, uh, you can search in, in Pale Flame. Uh, for some characters, you can use Seminole's Reminiscence also, like uh, Mayoimiya. And obviously for many characters such as Bennett, Beidou, uh, Xiangling, Every the, uh, they are all the characters that is that are using Emblem of Severed Fate, you can find it here. The next update will be very, very important, so yeah, I guess you need to save your resin from now on, or from tomorrow when the yeah yeah just before the update lah 
remember to save your resin uh, I think this a thing that you want to consider a lot uh, especially if you're using so those man characters that I've been mentioning about is not just uh, another just not it's not just a character Osmantis but they're also one of the metas that you can use right now man. if you're using a good artifacts for your characters even if you're using just a free characters only trust me you can also get 36 stars in the abyss level 12 for 12 I mean <laughs> yeah I guess that's all uh, the information I want to share to you I hope that you get the point and yeah yeah, yeah, I'm sorry if uh, there's still so many mistakes here and there, right? <laughs> to conclude the video, I just want to say thank you for listening and yeah. Uh, wait for my fountain exploration that I'll be sharing with you in this channel, right? <laughs> I'll be sharing with you so many things in fountain. I am so excited, I can wait and obviously I can wait to farm in another domain till I got bored to that again, right? <laughs> See you guys and... Ciao, from Teoriki. <laughs>